Well, a small grassroots organization is looking to expand the way to, we serve east side communities thanks to a grant from the city of Indianapolis and the Indianapolis Foundation. Yeah, so our Matthew Foltz is live this morning with how this money will be used and it certainly is for good. Good morning, Matthew. Yeah, good morning, Carlos and Julia. It's definitely for good. That's right. Brookside Co Community Development Corporation was one of 31 organizations here in the city that was awarded this grant through the Elevation Program. And with this $250,000 grant, they'll now be able to help spot and treat mental health from those within the East Side community. Everything that we do, uh, it's, it's an answer from the cry from the streets. Here at Brookside Community Development Corporation, it's all about overcoming life struggles for Indy's most vulnerable. Uh, it can be a sex addiction, it can be a lying addiction, a stealing addiction. Whatever the struggle is, we have a place where they can come and feel safe and begin to talk out these situations. Pastor Charles Neal leads the reentry program here, helping those on the east side. We have different individuals who are a part of, uh, that are on some type of um, oversight, parole, probation, community correction. Through one-on-one -on -one counseling, he and his staff are able to provide comfort, housing, and even help with getting paid jobs. We help with those resources, but what we have found is that they fall off because people's mental health is not stable. Despite their success, they don't have the training to treat mental health, but that will soon change thanks to a $250,000 grant from the Elevation Program. They now have the money for mental health professionals in their reentry program. And how specifically will this grant impact the work that you all do? We will be able to hire um, an in-house licensed mental health counselor and that will serve as the connector between minor mental health and severe mental health. Um, so that person is going to be able to help train us to see um, signs and symptoms of things that we could handle in-house that are more minor. And the nonprofit tells me that that specialist will be starting exactly two weeks from today. So some good things in store from that nonprofit. And speaking of how many people they've helped, they tell me that they've helped 250 people so far this year and only anticipate that, no, that number growing with that new specialist. 